In this video, we will be learning how to use your point of sale cash register. Administrators, managers, and serving staff should all watch this video. If you only do counter service, this video is an important part of your training. If you do table side service, this video is also valuable to understand how to process orders with your cash register. As well, if you're using an integrated payment processor, this video will show you how to use the credit card sign on screen option. Log in as a server. You should never log in as an admin or manager to serve customers. By default, Touch Bistro will start on your floor plan screen. If you are purely a counter service venue, it's not necessary to have a completed floor plan. However, we recommend you lay out your floor plan in case you ever need to do some table side service. Tap the point of sale that was placed on your floor plan. Tap the lock icon if you want to keep staff from exiting the register screen. If you try to return to the floor plan, you will require either a manager or admin passcode. To take an order, first select an available menu, for example, the dinner menu. You can add items to the order portion of the register screen by tapping on the menu category and then the menu item. Some items may have forced modifiers configured during restaurant setup. For example, in this setup, a coffee order prompts you to always ask the customer what kind of milk they want. Tap an item to see other options or enter optional modifiers. If the customer wants more than one of the same item, tap Quantity. If the item has optional modifiers, tap Modifiers. You can select one of the pre-configured modifiers, or make a custom request like Extra Bacon, for which you can include an upcharge. You can do a discount, either a pre-configured discount or a custom discount. For example, you might comp this item by 100%. If you need to delete an item, you can swipe left. As you add items to the order area, the cash out buttons anticipate possible amounts offered to pay the bill. The quantity button is an alternative way of adding more than one menu item. Tap quantity, enter how much of an item the person wants, and then tap the item. If you use a kitchen printer with your register, you can use the send icon to send your items to the kitchen printer. You can also simultaneously send the order to the kitchen printer and print the bill with the print and send icon. So let's say at this point the customer has completed the order and you're ready to cash the person out. Before cashing the person out, there are a few last options you may want to consider. Tap Current Order. If you're a table service restaurant and need to transfer the order to a table, you can do this here. If you want to identify the bill by name, tap Rename Party. This option is useful if, say, you're a cafe and you pass the bill for a coffee order to a barista for preparation and expediting. If you need to transfer this order to a bar tab, takeout order or delivery order, tap the appropriate button in the fast pay area. Let's say in this order, the customer is paying with cash. Tap one of the fast pay cash buttons or tap cash to enter the specific amount offered. You now have options for receipts. You can print another receipt for your records or offer to email the receipt to the customer. If you choose not to print another receipt, all bills are kept within the system for later access. If you made a mistake about the payment and only realize at this point, you can tap continue without closing table. 
you are brought to the checkout screen. Tap Edit Undo Payment. Tap Back to return to the register screen. Process a proper cash order. Pick a receipt option to close the order, or close the order without printing a receipt. You will return to the register screen ready to take another order. In the previous example, we added items to the order by tapping a category and then the menu item. If you have an extensive list of menu items, you might find it quicker to use the search option. Tap the search icon. Start entering the name of the menu item. Touch Bistro will start offering suggestions. We'll first work through credit card payments if you're using a non-integrated payment processor. Tap Checkout. Tap the card offered. Enter the amount paid for the bill and the amount written on the tip line or entered into the mobile card processor. Close the order with the preferred receipt option. Again, you return to the register screen ready for a new order. Let's say in this case you close the order without printing a receipt because the customer did not want a receipt, but the customer changes his or her mind and now requests a receipt. Simply tap the Print Previous button and Touch Bistro will print the receipt. If a customer returns later and wants the receipt, after you've processed another order, all is not lost. Touch Bistro stores all bills and are available to anyone with a manager or admin login. With an admin or manager login, tap Options and then tap Bill slash Guest Check History. Enter a date and time range that the bill was processed. Tap Refresh. Locate the bill in the search results. Tap on the bill preview. Tap Reprint. Touch Bistro supports a fastbar mode for the cash register. Administrators can set staff members for fastbar only access. When flagged, staff members access the register screen in the fastbar mode. As the name implies, fastbar mode is usually used if your register is at a bar where customers pay for drinks but don't request receipts. When running in fastbar mode, Touch Bistro will not prompt you to print a bill and close the order. Fastbar mode makes heavy use of the fast pay buttons. Fastbar immediately closes the bill and prompts you how much change to offer. Whether you're running in fastbar mode or normal register mode, if you need to access the checkout screen to process an integrated card payment or access various bill options and adjustments, tap Checkout. Most of the checkout screen functionality and processing an integrated payment processor was handled in the previous training video, Performing Table Service. You should also watch that video, if tips are charged to credit cards, to see how you should handle pre os with an integrated payment processor. However, we'll examine a few new scenarios not covered in the Performing Table Service video. Although you can't split a bill by seats, you can split a bill evenly if two or more people want to pay for an equal portion of the bill. Tap Split Evenly by Number. Let's say this bill is to be split by three people. Touch Bistro creates separate checks in the bottom. Tap on each guest check to print their portion of the bill and accept payment.